was very low. I uh, didn't even didn't even care about nothing, and I I, I didn't want to. Um, I felt empty inside. So basically, I started going to a church, but it wasn't. You know, it was dead. You couldn't feel God ever, and uh, it was like really boring. And then I listened to like rap music and stuff, and it would just cut me down. I'd like I'd have music like fill my soul instead of having God do that. I found peace in rap music like Eminem and all them, 50 Cent and all that. And uh, it just, that that was so much negative right there. So it, it put me down and I didn't care really much what I did. I swore all the time, I cussed and I didn't really care about life. I was like, so be it, life just one big, one big obstacle and it's like a game. I was always a big person in my life. I started when I was uh, in kindergarten, I was always the biggest kid in my class and stuff. I started getting these anxiety and panic attacks. It took control of my life. I started to trust God that he would help me through it, but I didn't really know God personally. I uh, ballooned up to 799 pounds. It was very awful, I felt very uncomfortable, and it was time for me to change my life or die. So I went down to the doctor, and he saw me. I couldn't even walk about, okay, feet off from right here. 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 And I still couldn't do that and I had to lay down. I had to lay down in the back seat. My dad pushed my leg in to get in. I needed a wheelchair. When I was on my bed, it was time for life or death. And the doctors were speaking death to me. They said, Justin, you won't live another year or two if you don't do something. You know, it just flabbergasted me. I was so, I was like, I'm going to die already. I'm only 16 years old. So the doctors were like, well, you either got to get your stomach stapled or the biggest rehabilitation and all that, or you're going to die. It was rough. That was just a rough saying right there, but it was reality. So I remember looking at my Bible earlier. It was a blue Bible. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. So I looked at that and I said, Jesus, you said you were the life. And doctors are speaking, you know, they're saying I'm going to die. And you say you're life. I choose you and come into my life and take charge. From this day, I live for you and nobody else, and you're going to take charge of my life, you're going to help me eat correctly, you're going to help me exercise and move correctly, Father, and I, I'm, He's just going to help me all through it like you promised. And so from that day, Jesus Christ took control of my life. And ever since then, it's been about three years, I lost 470 pounds, and I'm still going. My old habits are gone, and I'm just washed in Jesus Christ through His blood, and I just thank Him and praise Him for making my life new again. It was just so awesome. I was on oxygen tanks when I came in, it was like, wow, this is so awesome, it's alive. I can feel Christ here, I feel God here more than ever. And it's a relationship with Christ I can have right here, right now. So from that day, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna start coming here. But I still believe that was the building was a church. I didn't believe the people were a church. I was greeted with open arms, I was loved. I felt loved for the first time ever by a Christians, by a body of believers. I felt like, wow, this is real love. The Holy Spirit's really, really here. God is, God is so real, He is love. God is love, it's like the Bible says. So it's changed my life. I live for Christ and I believe the body of Christ is the people and not the building anymore. The relationship with Jesus Christ is the most important thing you're ever going to have in this life. The most important decision you'll ever make in your life. If this church body is going to grow, it's going to be awesome. God's got plans for this and he's not done with me. He's going to use me for his glory. And I, I just appreciate that he actually is going to use me, an ordinary nobody, for, to be a somebody to preach, his, preach about his kingdom, about his son, Jesus Christ.